another video um yeah we're on an adventure me and hannah la Balestia have gotten three trains this morning starting in sheffield um all the way to a small little town called holt whistle which is on the hadrian's wall line up in northumberland apparently and we've got three days planned of bike packing back to manchester basically um i haven't really looked at the route hannah has a better idea but I think that's the best way going forward for me um, to not know what's coming ahead. So yeah, we're proper bike packing. I've got my new bike bags on my bike and we're bivvying out, wild camping, just having a relaxed few days cycling. <laughs> so we're just setting our bikes up now. Just got off the train. My stuff is everywhere. Right, we're done with all the faffing. Faff done. Faff done. What Hannah will learn on this trip is that I'm the world's biggest puffer. Anyway, we're off. <laughs> so this here is the centre of Great Britain. How does it feel to be in the centre of Great Britain? <laughs> um, I feel like I'm at the centre of everything. I'm stood in the centre of Britain. Ready to go! We're on the top of a viaduct. Oh, how high is this? A few moments later. So we were just stood at the top of that bridge saying how much we liked it. And now we're off and walking underneath it <laughs> so far so good um a little bit unaccessible with loads of bike backing bags ow but this is reality guys and we're back on some nice old railway don't be fooled at the top of that viaduct guys that was a schlep and a half So we're at a place called Slaggy Ford. That's a real name of a place. Some big old hill now from Gary Gill. It's all gravel. It's a tough bit. I've already ran out of gears. You climb so much slower when you've got bags on. Lose momentum very quickly. And it keeps So It's a lovely little bit of running water and Lars has got a little water filter. This is its maiden maiden oh, usage. I can... I can... Oh. So we're finally at the top of that big old hill across now. I think that's it. If you can 
call that hill, I'd call it a small mountain. But we've climbed up and now we've got the best view of the Lake District. We're at 761 meters on there, right? That's pretty high. 761 meters right now, yeah. wow. And we can see Oldswater over there. And Penrith. Penrith is here. The sea is over there. It's pretty incredible views right now. Buzz in. One word. This is looking like a very tricky descent now. The bag's on the back. You can't drop back, so it makes riding that steep stuff a bit more trickier, but we'll get there. I mean, look how sheer that hill is over there. We've got to get down the bottom. We've climbed 700 meters up, so we've got to get down. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Thanks. Have a nice day. Bye. over there where there's just like loads of old rotten tanks pub at the top so that's incentive and then descending down to a cat spot it's just got a bit cloudy um, sun's behind us it's glorious <laughs> The Tan Hill Inn. That is, we think, the highest pub in the British Isles. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, centre of the centre of Great Britain to the highest pub in Great Britain. How cool! Amazing. So quiet. Nearly finished day one. Yay! Find our camp spot. I'm probably going to be the longest one laughing again. Unfortunately, the midges are out tonight. Not enough of a nice breeze to keep them away. Just a shame. But anyway, we're going to have dinner and then probably go straight to sleep and then get up bright and early tomorrow for day two. morning so we've just woken up from our bivy spot um we've got a lovely view of the other hill the other side and down the valley got a bit cold last night i kind of woke up a bit chilly um probably because the cloud went and we've woken up to clear skies this morning Rob's had a few sleep i woke up a lot it was quite cold mm. Right. Average sleeps, but it's uh, 10 to 7 now and we're not watching the farmer round the sheep up on the other hill. Labs has rustled up some coffee. 
not a bad spot, is it, to wake up to this? Apart from the midges. The midges are out though. I'm getting bitten. Drawing stuff out because it was very dewy last night. Making some porridge and then we'll get going again. I have stolen Hannah's midge nut. That's what it's come to. Look at them all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're that bitey. I'm half protected. up this big hill all the way in the distance Barbs is over there I'm dragging on the tails behind all right it's gonna be a long day and the sun is out Woo!
we found a gold bar at the at the gate. I'm so happy. For being the top, first to the top. I love free food. <laughs> it's all wrapped up. Yeah, perfectly sealed. Is it in date? It looks pretty new. So we've just descended from down here and this is um, the famous hill road climb Fleet Moss. So I think we're actually going to pick up the pen on right away now um, and ride it the other way down to Ribble Head Fire Duct and a Batty lovely place named Batty Wife Hole. Hello. <laughs> and we stopped at Batty Wipehold with the view of Riverhead Viaduct. I was hoping there'll be a sign. It, it doesn't even come up on Google, but when I was looking on the commute map, mm. it says Bat Batty Wipehold. Does it? And apparently, it's called that because when this was being built, which I think was was it like 1869, 75 or something, there was a shanty town based here. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, there was a shanty town. So like pe workers would come from like all over the country to come and like help build it. And it was called Batty Wife Hole because there was a chap named Batty and he drunkenly drowned his wife here. Isn't that nice? That is disturbing. Yeah. <laughs> we stood on a graveyard yard basically. We found a pump track. It'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? So, oh, that's pretty good. Nice one, Ingleton. Getting all the kids on bikes. Look at that. That's what we like to see. So we're just up on the top of Salter Fell and the weather is glorious. We sat for a little snack stop and it's amazing what you can see from the middle of nowhere. You can see the sea, the Lake District, Ingleborough, Yorkshire Dales and uh, yeah we're just entering the Forest of Bowland area of natural beauty and then we're gonna just keep going now and start looking for a place to camp. Cheers. Hard on the coke and I'm on a shandy. <laughs> Good morning everyone. That is day three of our bike packing trip and we've just left our bivy spot in a field where some caravans are. Um, yeah, we're about to head out and then we'll make breakfast en route with well-earned coffee as well, I think. Stag? Hello. You're gorgeous. Look at you. 
Look at you. So we're actually back on the Pennine Bridleway. And we were just on a tarmac bit of it. Now this bit of the Pennine Bridleway, um, we didn't actually do in my last video. This is the bit we missed out and when I jumped on the e-bike because of time. So yeah, nice to be back riding on the bit that we missed out. And it looks beautiful. Whee! Not another gate. Hill. This really doesn't show the gradient. It is super steep. It's a bit of a hiker bike. There is absolutely no traction. But Hannah says there's a cookie for me at the top, so I better get a move on. I've just bet Beth 50 quid she can't make it from where she's standing to get to the top. Go on, Beth. No, you got this. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> to be fair, you made it further than I thought you would. Okay. Mm. Well, that wasn't the bet, was it? Yeah. I'd never get up here anyway. Yeah. Oh my god, she I got cookies. cookies. She did get cookies. Mmm, thank you. Ooh, so rough! There is Manchester! Right there, shining in the distance. Anyway, so just easing it off a little now. City center. So that was um, our second city divide uh, route from Holt Whistle back to Manchester. And it was a really great route that outdoor provisions have created there all the way from like Glasgow. But we didn't get to ride that first part. So Honestly, like if you've got a few days to go on a little adventure, go bike packing, that route's got a bit of everything. Road, gravel, a bit of hiker bike, amazing scenery. And we were really lucky with the weather, which really helped. It was a really great trip. And I'm looking forward to doing like a little bit more stuff like that um, coming down the line and, and sharing that with you. Uh, let me know what you think. Have you done the route? Um, like this video, leave us a comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will look forward to seeing you in more videos to come.